Hey, what's going on, Action Figure Addicts? This is Seaspray, and I'm here yet again with your Action Figure Fix. We're going to do another review on a DC Universe Classics figure. Today in front of you, we have Green Arrow from Wave 20. This is figure number four. Uh, this is for the Collect and Connect series of Necron from the Black Lantern series. Really awesome looking Green Arrow figure in front of you. He's pretty much a modern style Green Arrow. He has like a hood and stuff, looking really sweet. I do have the traditional Robin Hood style one, um, but this guy might take his place because this guy looks really cool. So he just comes with uh, an arrow and uh, this little backpack, I think it's on him. Or it might come off, it looks like it can come off actually. But we will take a look at that when we take him out of the package. So we'll just take a quick look, you got the little arrow target thing there, it shows uh, from Wave 20, Figure 4, like I said. And he's in there looking pretty sweet. Got a bunch of write-ups here for his little biography and stuff, statistics. Um, if you care to read any of that, just check it out in my photos. Got a little picture of Green Arrow up top. Looks like he's about to take out a bow. And this one looks a little bit different. Just an, uh, a bow here, no arrows or nothing like that. So I think they either photoshopped it or what. But either way, it looks a little bit different. And on the bottom of the package, you yeah. have... Yeah. Um, all the figures in the wave. You have Hawk, Dove, Red Arrow, Green Arrow, Sinestro, White Lantern, Flash, and Reverse Flash. Collect and connect to assemble Necron. Really awesome. Okay, so let's just take them to figure out uh, the package and go over it in further detail. To all are opened. Alrighty, here we have Mr. Robin Hood out of the package. No, I'm just kidding. It's Green Arrow. Um, you know, like I said, I did this review before on Green Arrow. I did the more traditional Robin Hood style one. This is more of an updated modern style, which is, you know, pretty cool. I like it a lot. I did see the Hood Green Arrow in Smallville briefly. I haven't watched this show too much, but I have seen this this look before. Uh, but he's a bit of a younger dude. Uh, not This guy kind of looks older. But the costume on this guy is great. Um, really nicely well done. Has lots of detail on it. Nice colors, nice, you know, the costume has like all these folds in the, the clothing areas and it looks like it's real from far away. Up close too, you know, paint ops are great. So let's just take a 360 of this dude here, just turn him around, show him off, you can see all the nice colors, he has a little knife at the back, doesn't come off, arrows don't come out, he doesn't come with any arrows, just the bow with the arrow on it, and I'll show you that in a second. So we did a 360, now we're going to take a closer look, you can see his head sculpt. Uh, with this hood all around, head, the the, the sculpt, um, it's nicely well done, everything looks good, like I said, paint apps are great, the hood is, I think is mounted with the figure, uh, with his head, it's not connected to his neck, so it kind of looks kind of funny in some points, but with that being said, it would help a lot more if I had the camera on this guy, um, and not facing his crotch, so like I said, face sculpt is good, you know, he has this can't remember the name of his arrow pack. I know it has a name. Um, I couldn't remember my last review and somebody corrected me, but I forgot again. So there it is. It uh, it's pegged into his back and it has a strap. You probably could take it off. I'm not sure if this is glued in or not, but I wouldn't suggest it. And then you got the armbands, nice detailing on the costume. You got the belt. It has little pockets, little G on the front little gold buttons everywhere, nicely detailed, you can see little crevices and little stitching in there and stuff. Then you got the arm guards with some of them, uh, actually both of them have these little arrows in there, they do not come out. Nice detail on there, and it looks really good. Pants are very uh, simple and clean, they're all black, but he does have this little side belt on his right leg, kind of like the one up in his um, mid region here. And you got plain green boots, not much else. So I'm not going to get into articulation and posability. If you want to check out that stuff, you can check out my other Green Arrow review. For now, we're going to show you, or I'm going to show you his arrow. Very traditional arrow, simple. Comes with red arrow, green arrow, the old green arrow. So not really going to talk about it too much. Uh, I already talked about it a lot in, the, in my other review. And it does have like a studded, um, I would guess, exploding tip on the end. But it's one with the thing. Fits on there pretty good. You can check out my photos if you want to see what it looks like on him. And that's pretty much it. So that's it. This is Sea Spray. This is the video review on DCUC Modern Green Arrow. Badass looking. Pick this guy up. I highly suggest you get him. He looks really cool. And if you can find Red Arrow, which in my area was a bit hard to find. Other areas, not so much, but...
they they do look good hand in hand. I still yet to open him, but I can only imagine how good they look together. Oh, okay, so that's it. I'll catch you guys later. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And this is Sea Spray, and stay tuned for more DCU reviews and other reviews to that nature. Later.